think you're mad, too unstable Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables in a restaurant In a West End town Call the police, there's a madman around Running down, underground, to a dive bar In a West End town In a West End town, a dead end world With the East End boys and West End girls in a West End... Neon is in the garage I've already made a video on how to take a neon trans apart. So if you guys want to check that video out, I'll put it on the right. Or I'll put it the link in the description so you guys can check that video out. We did it on my brother's car. Uh, I'm not going to redo that all again. I don't want to bore you guys the same thing over and over again. But I did get the input shaft. I have it over there by my toolbox. And I got to get to taking everything off. I am alone today, so I'm hoping I can do it alone. I think I can. I don't, I've done it plenty of times. It's just a lot easier with help, but I think I'll be able to do it. Other than that, let's get started on this and um, yeah. So I'm gonna make this quick video before my phone dies because my phone is gonna die. We found the issue. It's right there. If you guys can see the shifter selector, it's supposed to be like this. And the piece broke off. I don't know where I left it. It's a little piece, but the good thing is we have a spare one from Alex's car. So we're just gonna end up putting it in because he doesn't need it. He has billet ones. Transfer back together. I hope I put everything in right. You feel it good now? is both boxes we have the regular watt box that comes with the little harness for the computer and the regular harness to wire everything up which is going to take you hours when you can save yourself a little bit of time with a plug and play kit so and everything is labeled as you can see this one is throttle position sensor and it focuses there it goes. everything's labeled on here it makes your life a hell of a lot easier than trying to wire it up yourself but i'll show you guys how we do it how everything goes connected and you can get ready for some two steps Alright you guys, so the way I'm gonna run it is probably easier with two people, even though it's just a plug and play harness. So the first one you're gonna run is the TP MS sensor, the throttle position sensor, TPS sensor, sorry. Top one is your idle air control, and the bottom one is your TPS. Then I ran the wiring through the top by the vacuum lines for my blow-off valve. Ran it through the back of this hose right here. This is a heater core hose. And then you have to connect the two-way cam sensor, the one from the harness here, and then your stock one onto the extra connector. Next is gonna be basically the main the main main harness, pretty much, which is also gonna have a place for both. And then after we're gonna run it through in side right through I have where I have my power cable for my battery relocation and then everything should tuck up under there power box I'm charging the computer right now so we could adjust you can download the program for a watt box and um, pretty much see how everything is on it you can set your rpms and set everything on it which makes it a lot better instead of just pressing the little button that it has but other than that we got everything ran through there we go it's gonna sit right there and then we'll tuck everything up this is about where i have mine right here yeah i have my action like right here 
I'd say, I don't know, if yours was better. Maybe a little lower, yeah. So it's like flat. Because mine's like halfway like this. Mine's, for some reason, I feel like it sticks out more. But then I have a, the reason they did it like that is because they made a hole right here. And then they ran this cable through here. Uh, and then it's basically okay, just okay. like like that. So the cable is just inside the, uh -huh. this part. But you don't have to. You could basically yeah. just pull it back out through the front and it'll just be tucked up. All box installed. All box installed. But watch the door. I want you to get hit. Yeah. So the only thing left was we have to do the clutch safety switch. But like I said, we ran the throttle position sensor through here, through the back of the heater core lines, connected the camshaft sensors right here. And then it runs back to your main harness, which I just ended up tucking towards the back and then follow these up there. And then from where I have my power cable, and there's a little hole. He literally just pulled it through himself. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Cam sensor, throttle position sensor, main harness, and then that's for the fuel cut on the main harness. And then the inside is the clutch safety switch and the watt box. Makes your life a hundred times easier if you get a plug and play kit. You're gonna spend a little extra money, but at that point, you might as well. So next we're gonna wire this clutch safety switch and then we're gonna see what the um, first settings are, the original new settings that it comes with are, and then we're gonna adjust them to whatever we think the car is gonna do good at for pretty much rolling lag, anti lags and shit like that. got one brand new like i did you do have to download the software on the n2mb racing website once you download the software um you pretty much go from there and it tells you everything rev limiter no lift shift shift light so pretty much has everything launch control labeled for you so you can set it up however you want it so just make sure to download the software it's all on their website not at wide open throttle, try raising the value of your threshold. Um, you think I should raise it a little bit? It's up to you. And what are you going to raise the 30? It was at 26 right now. So now that we're done with Alex's car, we're going to go ahead and move over to my neon now that we know how to mess around with it a little bit. Okay, so we used his settings. Now it's time to see if. The Watt box will be Watt box. Will be Watt box. Let's see. It's warmed up. You can see right there at 140. Clutch in. Ooh, this shit's gonna be nasty, bro. That's only at 4,000. That's what you can still hire it. Oh, a bunch of shit. You got all yeah. possibilities here. That's at 4,000? That's at 4,000. Let's do 4.5. Fuck it. Okay, so I think for now, I'm gonna leave a launch control at 4,200. We're gonna do the lockout at 45. And the threshold is at 0.26, which is I believe the lowest you can go. And then my time for no lift shift is 25 um, milliseconds. I believe it is milliseconds, I'm not sure. And then the threshold I left at 3.0. I'm not really sure about the TPS threshold for the no lift shift, um, but Rev limiter is at 63 for my tune, and the shift light I put it at 58, which is kind of close to what I shift at. So, other than that, it's ready to go.
percent remaining too. So. On the computer? Yeah. 